Hello my beautiful Geminis, this is Debs and this is going to be your reading for mid-February 2021. Gemini, just come out of meditation as I always do, as you know, with Archangel Michael. Um, fascinating energy, Gemini, for you. Mm. Michael showed me two visions. One was of a Disney film, okay, of a Disney film. The Disney film showed a woman coming in from work. She was wearing a suit, jacket and a skirt and heels, kicking off her heels. And then a man coming through to greet her, giving her a kiss and a cuddle and saying, hey, hon, you know, good day. Yeah, great day. Thanks. I put the kettle on or I poured you a glass of wine. There was something like this, but it was all in animation. It was all Disney fantasy type energy. Okay. There were two kids that ran through the door and mum sort of hugging them. Hey, you know, have you had a good day? How was school? It was kind of a day-to-day -day life of this woman and her husband and the two kids. What was really strange is I heard, um, I heard the sound of an old fashioned uh, scratch, scratch on a record, you know, I can't really describe it. Michael had almost like, you know, there's a, there's a, okay. And then another vision appeared, almost like scratch that another vision appeared and it was reality. I saw a vision of this woman coming through same outfit, same husband, same kids or same partner, but it was reality. It was obviously that this was definitely happening in reality. No Disney film. And then I heard the words from dream to reality. So Gemini, there's something here, male or female, something here relating to the fact that you've been wishing and hoping and praying for something so much. Your ideal scenario, your perfect evening with your other half and your kids or whatever this is. And I think you've been thinking about this, dreaming for this, hoping for this for so long that you've actually manifested it or no. Michael's saying you will be manifesting this into being in this lifetime. So unbeknown to you, Gemini, the universe has been understanding that this is what you're wanting. And you may not have understood it, but you are actually manifesting this to happen in the 3D in this lifetime. So should we see what's going to be... Coming through for you. Interesting energy. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Here we go, my gems. Here we go. <laughs> okay. My th my two spirit guides are with me, Angela and Rose. Cedric is with me. You know, he's a little boy that sometimes joins me in readings. I've um, just seen the five of cups in the reverse. You're feeling a lot more optimistic, Gemini. You're feeling as if you are on the brink of a very big life change. You know it's just about to happen. But you may not understand that you've been wanting and dreaming for this for so long that you've actually manifested this. The divine is bringing it in. So Archangel Michael, who do we have with us, please? Thank you. Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Raphael. Wow. Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Michael. Powerful energies with us in this reading for you, Gemini. Hmm. I keep hearing from dream to reality. Wow, Gemini. Yeah. It's the power of thought. Okay. The power of thought. Oh, I'm hearing that really old song. Wow, I never really get songs in readings. If I could turn back time. Don't know who that was by. I'm just hearing if I could turn back time. Was it Cher? Was it an old Cher song? If I could find a way. Oh, Michael, what are the rest of the words? Okay, song's coming through really strongly now. If I could find a way. I'd take back those words that hurt you and you would stay. Oh, okay, Gem. Are you manifesting a comeback? And that would make sense because of this card.
Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Michael is no. Okay, thank you. Gemini, I feel I'm connecting with a male. It's Gemini. Wow. Yes. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay, Gem, um, yes, if I could turn back time. Gemini, you have been trying to manifest a comeback with someone that you fell in love with. And you've never forgotten. But the issue in the past was that there was another woman in the mix. And you, you, couldn't, you couldn't have the life that you really wanted. You were dreaming about it, you were fantasizing about it, you really felt that this was something that was a perfect scenario for you, but you couldn't manifest it because there was another woman in the mix, karmic partner, who I think is coming through as the Queen of Swords energy. Michael's told me that is not your energy, okay? And that now makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Gemini, you have... Come to the understanding that you need to let a connection go because you want to work in a connect on a connection in the future that for you was kind of your happiness. Okay? Yeah. But it has meant that you are either having to end a situation you're in that you've been struggling with or you've already ended a situation you're in and you are wanting to go back to someone that you never forgot, that it didn't end with emotionally for you in the past. Two of pentacles in the reverse. There could be some kind of long distance here or it could be that you maybe kept a secret with the energy of the moon that you'd made a decision to end a connection with a karmic partner. You kept it under wraps. There was a lot of fear, Gemini, in you carrying on, and I've got to say it, a third party situation that you kept secret. I think you did walk away from someone with the view, though, that you needed to get your head together to make a decision as to whether or not you wanted to return to somebody that you fell in love with and you really wanted to be with. Strength in the reverse. There's a lot of Leo energy here, Gem. Could be connected to a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. But strength in reverse is I've secretly now made the decision because I cannot hold myself back any longer from moving towards someone that you had to let go because you were already connected to somebody in the past. You are coming back to a third party, Gem. Yes. Yeah. Hierophant in reverse. You could have let go of a Taurus. Or you... For one or two of you, interesting, you might have had problems with your mother who could have disapproved of you ending a marriage or a commitment. For some reason, I don't know why, that's a very unusual very specific message, that there could be a mother in the mix. That you have had to kind of battle against to make your views heard, that you really do feel that a connection you've been in for a long time is really over. And I feel you can't hold back any more, Gemini, of moving towards the person that you still love, a third party, because you may be realising that they are about to head off and forget all about you to be with somebody else and you just can't face it. And you're realising time is ticking. 
yeah, Michael, show me a clock. So I said all that very tentatively, Jem, but I really feel that that is what we're looking at now. Okay, guys. So if you're ready, let's jump in. You're sitting in the energy of the world in reverse. Crossed with the nine of wands in the reverse. I think you might have ended or decided to end a long distance connection that wasn't working for you. It could have been, you know, a scenario where you were working in a different city than your husband or partner and you were sending money home and it just wasn't working. It could have been a situation that came to a head because of the pandemic, because you couldn't travel, you couldn't see them. It was just getting impossible. But this is also you letting go of the energy that pertains to no communication of the internet, which means that you want to develop communication of the internet with somebody. And it's almost as if you can't hold back anymore. It may be the energy that you've been sitting in is, you know, it may be that the energy you've been sat in is, you know, we haven't talked for a long time. We haven't talked for months. And I think you're trying to let that energy go, which means that you do want to get in back in contact with someone that you never fully detached from. And I do believe this is the third party. With the moon, this could be a Cancerian. With the strength card, it could be a Leo. We have Taurus. Pisces and Scorpio shown, particularly. So this is what's been on your mind. In the past, with the Knight of Swords, now this could have been a year ago, it could have been a couple of months ago, you did speak your truth to this Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So you could have been in a long-term connection with this Queen of Swords. Now, if this isn't actually an air sign that you're in a long-term relationship with, this is somebody holding the energy of the Queen of Swords. Very guarded, very nervous, a little bit cold, and it may be that she moved into this energy because she knew that you wanted to talk about ending things. So there was a very straightforward conversation. What do we do about the situation? I'm struggling because with this whole pandemic thing, I can't actually see you as much as I used to. If this is a long distance marriage, for instance, or an arranged marriage or something, this just cannot work anymore. It's just not practical. And there might have been a very open and honest conversation with your person. In your thoughts judgment in the reverse you're very worried about making that final judgment call Gemini even though there has been talk around this making this big decision for you you haven't wanted to face that judgment day you know to get things going to detach from the situation if you're already still attached <clears throat> if you're still attached to this person or you haven't wanted to make a decision about speaking to the third party that you walked away from because in the past you were in a commitment. There's something you don't want to face. Now, it could be karma, right? Um, but it's almost as if the divine is saying, pretty soon, Gemini, you're going to have to make this big decision. You're going to have to really make a move. And it's almost as if you're there in your head going, no, not yet. No, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I know I have to do it. I'm not ready yet. OK. Archangel Michael, when do we have the Empress come through in the immediate future for my Gemini's, please? When is that? 3rd of April. Really, Michael? Yeah, he's saying 3rd of April to the 16th of June. Very specific. You're sat, Gemini, thinking about the energy of the Empress. Now, this is either you having to have a conversation with your parent, possibly your mum, it could be that your mother has a very strong religion and you need to sit down with your mom and say, look, mom, sorry, I know this is an arranged marriage or I know that this is uh, a difficult situation because of our religion, but I am going to make a decision to detach. You could also, of course, be connected to a Taurus and need to have a conversation with a Taurus, specifically with the Empress. 
or you could be reaching out to the person that you want to be with that you perceive to be your empress now we could be looking at a twin flame connection we could be just you it could be just you putting whoever this woman is on a bit of a pedestal feeling as if she ticks all your boxes because this is all four queens this is someone strong stable reliable this is somebody warm nurturing and loving this is somebody very independent this is someone who just manifests easily this is the queen of all queens so whatever this is for you you are sitting thinking about this empress energy at this period of time april to june maybe having a series of conversations maybe trying to find a way of moving forward and detaching from a situation that's no longer fulfilling you whoever is in your environment could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. We have the Queen of Cups. This is someone who has love for you. This is someone who does want to move forwards with you. But they're not coming through with the energy of the King of Cups. Because as you know, you know, whether you're male or female doesn't really matter. The energy of the Queen of Cups is someone who does love you, but she hasn't reached the energy of the King of Cups. Now, it could simply be that it's because the two of you have been disconnected for a period of time. And so the love has kind of died down a little bit, but the love is still there. And she's still willing to move forward with you. And I believe that's the energy of the third party that you are connecting with at this period of time, as well as maybe managing a situation that you're detaching from with either a karmic partner or you are discussing your situation with a family member, possibly a mother, could be a stepmother, could be a mother-in-law, um, to explain what you're going to be doing. So this is quite a significant period of time for you, Gem, because this is about you ending a situation that was unfulfilling in the past. And this is you preparing to move forward with, I believe, the third party that you disconnected from previously because you were in a long-term situation. Okay. In your fears is the tower in the reverse. You are fearing taking action, Gem. You're fearing the aftermath of the tower. And the tower for you will be you basically deciding to ring a lawyer to start a divorce process or trying to sell a house because you're moving out of living with a karmic partner or talking to the relevant family members to say that you are ending a situation. This is something that worries you. This is something that you didn't really want to have to do, but you know you have to if you want to be with this person who could be the Empress, could be the Queen of Cups, could be a mixture of them both or simply a water sign. You are worried about that. What, of course, you're hoping for is the energy of the sun. This is no drama. This is peace and tranquility. This is the energy you feel on your holiday. Okay, no work, laptop away, sitting in the sun with a margarita, whatever does it for you. Nothing to worry about. Forward movement, expansion, progress, ultimate happiness. This is what you're hoping for. This is what you are hoping to achieve once this is sorted out. The sun can also be Leo. We've got Leo strongly here. You could simply be hoping to move forward with a Leo or somebody who has Leo strongly in their chart. The final card is telling me that you will make a decision, but there will just be a little bit of nostalgia putting you back to the past. A little bit. Nothing for you to worry about. It's pretty normal. This is the equivalent of you, you know, just about to sign final papers, releasing house, releasing a partner, and then remembering the day you got married, remembering the day that you fell in love, remembering the kids when they were little and running around the grass at home, you know. This is just a little bit of sadness creeping in that a cycle of your life is coming to an end. And it may take you a few months to totally move away from that nostalgic energy 
it doesn't mean that you are going to be not wanting to move forward with this woman. But I think this woman will need to understand that there will be a little bit of sadness and not to be oversensitive about that. Because this is not you wondering whether or not you made the right decision. This is you just naturally bringing a large or long, I should say, cycle of your life to a close. And anyone will feel nostalgic about that. So, yeah, Six of Swords. This is what I mean. This is you moving on, taking the lessons from the past with you. You're doing it quietly with no drama. You are moving on. This is you looking back a little bit. Oh, yes, but do you remember when we fell in love? Oh, yeah, I remember the wedding day. I remember when the kids were born. There's a little bit of nostalgia putting you back. But I don't think it's going to be enough for you to re to think to yourself, I don't know if I made the right decision. I think you do. I think you want this. But whoever this Queen of Cups is or the Empress is that you're moving forwards towards in the future or within the future, they will just need to appreciate that you might be sad at a little bit of this energy with them in the future. It will probably dissipate in a few months, but they need to be aware that there is a certain sense of sadness just ending a cycle. It's natural. doesn't mean that you don't love this woman, that you're having regrets. It just means that you need time to get used to the fact that you are no longer in this very big cycle of your life that you detached from in the past, or you will be. So here we go. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. There was a third party situation. With the Six of Wands in the reverse, you didn't feel very successful. You didn't feel very good about it. Maybe the mask fell off and you admitted it or you were found out. The Six of Wands is also Leo energy, so you could have just walked away from a Leo and realised that in the situation you were in, you could not build with this person. Maybe there was a lot of sadness to do with that. But I feel that now you're ready to make that change, to make that decision. You don't really want to do it, but I think you will. Because I think you realise whoever this Queen of Cups is or the Empress is, they are looking in the opposite direction. They're looking into the future, Gemini, and they're kind of emotionally thinking to themselves that they may have to let the hope of being with you again go. And you're worried about that. You don't like that. You're realising you still have love for this person. So you do have to make a move. This is what you're doing with the Two of Swords in the reverse. You have maybe numbed yourself. You're now accessing your emotions. You're realizing that, yes, I do still love this person. And you're taking off the blindfold, Gemini. And you're realizing that you do have to make some kind of move. And the move you're going to make with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is possibly to end a long-term cycle with somebody else. To free yourself so you can move forward with this woman. Okay, so Gemini, let's delve in. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Empress? What is the energy of the Empress? What is the energy of the Empress? I think this is you having a conversation with someone in your family, or it could be with a karmic partner to explain that you have spent a long time thinking about this, but you feel it's the right time to end a situation. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Now, you are, if this is a karmic partner or your mother-in-law or something like that, a family member, um, could be your karmic partner, okay? They may say to you, yes, but Gemini, there's a lot of money tied up in this connection, right? Years of mortgage payments, maybe investments made. You're going to lose a lot of money. Are you sure you're ready to let this go? You're also going to have to give child support. This could be this woman saying, you know, you're going to have to give money to the ch for the children or something like that. Page of Pentacles is also signing divorce papers. Are you sure you want to do this? 
With a five of cups, you might be saying, yeah, I feel as if it's all gone downhill. The relationship isn't working. I'm not very happy. I'm feeling very guilty about having to do this, but I feel it's the right thing to do. You're also going to be saying, I have been stuck in my thoughts about this. I've been trying to figure out what to do. I haven't made a decision because I've been worried about the consequences. But now I realize I really need to do this. Yes. And so with a Ten of Cups in the reverse, this is, yes, I am wanting to end this long term situation. Now, this could be initially, initially moving into formal separation with the Ten of Pentacles in the upright, which would potentially in the future lead to divorce. OK, so Archangel Michael, who is the Queen of Cups? 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 Okay, who is the Queen of Cups, Michael? Who is the Queen of Cups? Yes, who is the Queen of Cups? Okay. All right. So the Queen of Cups, potentially a water sign. The Queen of Cups, Gemini, is thinking about you. You are coming through with the energy of the King of Swords. Whoever this person is wants the truth. That might be the first thing they say to you. You know, I do still have love for you, but for goodness sake, tell me the truth. There might have been a few lies in the past, Gemini. And they just might be very nervous that you're not being honest, okay? They want the truth. They may say to you, um, this is a very painful situation for me. I had to walk away from you. I felt betrayed and backstabbed. And I spent a long time healing myself from this. This person is saying to you, Gemini, okay, now you want to reunite with me. Now you want to pick this all back up. Um, okay, we can maybe see how things go. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, this is someone who was saying to you, I never fully emotionally walked away from you. I still have that love for you. But this is a woman who spent a long time getting over what happened, Gemini. And with the Nine of Pentacles, she's very stable. She's very independent. She is taking care of herself and she has been for quite a while. She's very reticent to move out of this energy to let you back in if she feels that you're not absolutely certain. She's standing her ground. She's very strong. She's very capable and she wants the truth. But she is ready to take action, Gemini. So if this isn't a water sign. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We got Leo here strongly. Well, this is somebody who is embodying generally the energy of the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Archangel Michael, what is a Six of Swords in the reverse? Okay, cars are flying. Mm, cars are being difficult. Oof. Gemini. Yeah. Interesting, because this is almost identical to the energy of this card. The Six of Swords in reverse is nostalgia about the past. Sorry about the noise, guys. 
nostalgia about the past. Six of Cups in reverse is nostalgia about the past. Okay. So, Seven of Wands in reverse, you have accepted defeat that your long-term relationship is coming to an end. You are moving down a new path, Gem. Eight of Wands, you could be relocating. You could be having a conversation with whoever you're moving forwards with about commitment. With the energy of the Emperor, you are taking control of your life. You could have Aries in your chart or you could be connected to an Aries. And this is the energy of healing. You've been healing yourself from the situation. This is Sag energy. This is also potentially you connecting with yourself, your spirituality. Temperance is, is the angels around you. The emperor can be the energy of the divine masculine. And remember, we have the empress. So you're either detaching from your twin, which could have been very painful, very difficult, or you are embodying the energy of the emperor and you are moving forward towards the person that you feel is your true divine twin. With the Ace of Cups, there is a new love offer that is accepted. And I feel once you've come to terms, Gemini, that you need to just allow yourself naturally to heal from the past. You're not going to be able to switch off those emotions like a light bulb. You're just not. And once this Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Empress Energy, whoever you're moving forwards with understands that and accepts it, I think this is going to be smooth sailing, Gem. Yeah. Under the deck, Wheel of Fortune, this was all divinely guided. Underneath that, the Ace of Pentacles. Commitment, divinely guided. And with the Hangman, interesting, underneath that, you could have gone through some kind of ascension to understand with a high priestess energy that there was a very strong telepathic connection between you and someone else. And this is you finally deciding to act on it. Okay? So, my Gemini. <laughs> All right, leaving it there. Take care of you. I'm not going to be delving into the White Rose Guinness deck. I don't think I need to. But this is a beautiful reading. I hope it's helped. Sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Take care of you. And of course, if this is your story, don't hesitate to reach out and we can do a private reading for you to see where this might take us. Bye now.